Hello folks and welcome back to you by Spring. It's been pretty much a hot minute since I've done the last recording. Obviously the last episode we've gone up yesterday when recording this, or this bit here on Sunday. Yeah, it's been like what, over a week now? The last episode was meant to upload last weekend. But then just the timings of uploads and all that just didn't match until I had to leave and that. And then all week it's just been a lot of it has been the hot weather we've been having here in the UK for degrees. Makes it quite difficult to record stuff and that, especially with the PS4 at times. It's not like a jet that's about to take off, even though I've de dusted it and all that, everything. Just the hot weather, the humidity as well. But, anyways, a bit cooler now today as we're recording this. And we've we'll been doing some build work, we have. So, what we've done in between episodes is pretty much finish off 64 we got these bells done that was about 14 bells there ready to be collected and also we had all our other bells around the field so what we've gone done is pick them up we did have five bells in field 107 left I thought you know what I had to come here anyway to pick up these bells so five of these bells from 105 and the other 18 is from this field here. This is a side spell contract. So we go up and have a look. So that one there we go, about six and a half grand. Plus whatever else we so we've got six, forty, seventy, seventy-eight. These are pretty small fields. Ooh. We've got 120, 132, spoilage field again, 142, I know that's just a tedding contract, in fact it is a big field there. So if we have a little look in the map, so 70 is around here, well, 40 is there in the middle. 70s at one of these over here. Ah, 70s there, so. Yeah, 142 there, that's the field there by the shop. I'm trying to think what else. Ah. No real good choices of contracts, so you know what? We're going to do those, so. We need to come out of here, turn left, turn left towards so we go to the farm, and then head up north, so yeah. We're going to do that. But yeah, so after the heck to this of yesterday, it's a bit more actually, in fair, it's a bit more heck this left to do. Because I do want to get one more field done, one more field of crop. I was thinking we could do sorghum or something. That means converting one of these fields here into. I've got an idea. Let's go and sell these bells a sec, see how much money we can get. So I want to start paying off the loan so we can pay it off by the end of the year. Because if we get that loan paid off by the end of the year, even if we have it lingering for a while, the interest we have to pay on it, pay on it, like how much we borrowed, it's a pretty small amount, so cover that by doing a contract, even if it's a hay contract. Just stuck behind this tractor here, but... So yes, I'm thinking, if we... I have to go past. Obviously 62 is already an oak field. But what about if we convert 67? Buy this massive plot here, 61. Buy plot 60 and convert 64 that we've just done into a mega field. We'll have to look at when the oats are ready to harvest now because see what that affects our timeline all that with everything. Ooh, that was close. Obviously the downside is it's going to be about a 8% yieldish we're going to get. However, 
the size of the field will make up that difference, I think. Let's see, I'll go over here. I'm pretty sure it's here we'll go to, so. Alright, we'll load that down. Start to unload. Yep, that is about perfect. There we go. Money's coming in. Bells are being sold. That is 386 grand. That is 51,800 plus an 1800 from our environment score. So I think that just about helps us here. So. And even then, we can make a bridge over to 59. Perhaps, yeah, do that. But how much is it all going to be? Oh, yeah. No, nope. we're going to buy it. So buy that. And buy that. So that leaves us with 150 grand. Obviously, look at the very much score details. That's very low on what nitrogen and pH. So that's been fully fertilized and all that. That has butt kiss done to it, so but can we purchase the soil data on this? Yep. So yeah, as expected off the sandy zone. And the lonely sand. So I'm thinking, and that has improved the environment score. Actually, you know what? Ah, I thought that would do something there. Miss bits when we've done these, so you know what? Got the money, so yeah, I see if I remember score was gone up slightly. But there we go, so actually that helps us, so perhaps we have to avoid the lonely sand. Oh no, that's got good yieldage, you know. I know it is, so we do want the sandy though, but not the lonely sand. That's got a bit of clay. Just find out the borders, so. 26, so buy that. Obviously, can't afford it, but. 87, 87% then again there. Perhaps we could buy one more plot of land. Not the farm. Ooh, we could buy that. That's soybean field, so you know what? Okay, let's buy that, so. And then we just buy the soy data there. And yeah, look at that, 57%, not percent, with the environment score, so. That's a few plots of land we got. Now we need to go back to the farm and start pretty much planning everything. First of all, what we need to do is cut his some of these fields here, and then get him as for as bells press. But we're we'll running out of space for bells as well. But yeah, so we'll go back to the farm, have a little look, have a little think. I think we'll go from there. Actually, you know what? Let's go back on buying that other soybean film. Was it 50? No, 112. No, 111. So, we decided to return that, sort of set it back to the owner, pull that deal basically. Obviously, you sent the money over, but we lost some money on the soil sampling that, so, in fairness, that's extra data for the farmer that, or whoever owns that plot of land, so increases the value perhaps, so 
But yeah, we need to put this over here. Also, there is a reason why this thing has one hour on it, six series. That was because of an issue with a wall in that. I'm basically, long story short, as I was maneuvering these and that, or these two, hit a wall, which I fall, okay, slightly move it out of the way, and put it back in off camera, you know, a bit of cheeky work. The next you know, it went bing up in the air and done about a thousand miles an hour or so. So, pretty much, we had to recover this. If you know what I mean, but anyways, here is all of our search bells. So we've got 24, 48 here. So 2, 4, 6, 72 bells here. And we've got another 48 here. So we've got 6 here. 3, 6, 9, 12. 15 here, and another 15 in the field. So we're going to be hitting that bell limit very soon, so we need to think about perhaps putting these into a silo of sort. You know, cut these bells up, make it as loose, and then transfer it over. So we can pretty much put the bells into the mixer, and put them on a conveyor belt or something, and convey it to a silo, but we know our side over here doesn't really work with bells and that, so... I don't know, actually. If we have a little look here... Is there any silos? Okay, got the fermented silos. That's an option, but we wrap our bells, so... Let's go something like these. Perhaps that's what we could do over here, because I want to think if we do that. Perhaps do that. Try to think uh, what else we've got. Put a shed in, sorry spells. Perhaps we do that. And if we say, actually, one thing we need to do first of all is put the markers back on. So actually, what? I've got a few ideas for this error here. We know, get some ducklings in that at some point. So let's plan it here, right here, right now. So we need these the chicken pastures. So I'm thinking if we go for two, so one here and one here. So the limit is basically this patch of grass here. Then I'm thinking for productions. Get some greenhouses in. Maybe not these ones, maybe some modded ones. So again if we say one, two. So that's pretty much up to the building here. Then we have the bell shed. Oh, we can put some solar panels down. Get a bit of money from that. Actually, that ain't a bad idea. You know, we put some solar panels on the roof. Find the right size, so 25 degrees. Looks about right. You know, something like that. Obviously, things like that requires a huge amount of money pouring in. So, I'm thinking, just keep it simple and say. This is no longer going to be a grass field, so it's an escape. It's concrete it all over. Like 
back, so... Just do these. I think if we do this, lay the foundations now, so in the future, it makes our life so much easier. And things like we can move the fence in. Or do we keep it actually? Have that divide in the land? Perhaps we just keep it. So, you know what? I'm going to spend some time on this. And then start getting everything placed down. see at that top right corner we've got not much money left that's even after getting a few hundred grand a couple hundred grand from the wood chips we were selling so let's have a look shall we so first of all the bells that were here in the old garage on the old shed it's iron storage I sent you bells I think and in the future I think that's what we'll do is put all of our bells in here once they're done fermenting. Obviously you've got a couple of bells here and there. These will be just used for the animals for now. Unless we go around with the front loader and just stack all these up and put them in there. But yeah, this has changed completely, so on to the new concrete area. We've leased out this turf now, it's basically just a bell also trader and how I would use it is we would same risk the use it of we'll load up manually and then we'll just auto load it to tidy it up and act. Next on to the greenhouses. We've not got one, two, three, four, five, but six greenhouses and these are producing tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries. And there are some water around the moment, 8,000 litres in each. And that has been helped with this, our water distributor. Basically, we fill this up with water. And underground, basically, we've plumbed in all the water into these barrels underneath. Which then, go up this little tube. And then it distribute into the greenhouse. So basically, they're sprinkling the water. And then over here, we've got the two pens for our ducklings or chickens. I think we'll do one for ducklings, one for chicks. And we'll have them as babies. Next, this bit of, a, bit of an investment, but we decided to buy our own telehandler. So we bought the GCB 5 for 170 Agri Pro. Perhaps I should have gone with a different one just because of the hitch and I can't use it to pull the traders. 
But I'm not too worried about that. That's because it really is just to move these pallets. And the pallets where we're going to store them, i got no idea at the moment. <laughs> no one's seen it, I've got no idea. So, yeah. Next, we've got our own milk tank here. So, if we want to store the milk in that, in, in our cow area here, or in our, was it, cow shed. And um, don't sell it or put into a production chain yet. We can store them in here. That's got a very large capacity. Oh no, that's just a petrol tank. This is what I mean here, the underground storage with liquid. So, at the moment this is empty. So basically, more water liquids or even green could go in here. And it's all divided up so we know what goes where. And then it's basically a plumb system where both solids and liquids can come out of here, out of the pipe, into whatever containers we so to use. And then finally, I thought, got rid of the shed. I really do need more storage for some of our equipment in the future, perhaps. So we've gone and got a English ship, well, from the English ship package. So I know we're in Ireland. But it's, it suits the area, it does. You know, the green, that green corrugation. Not the same, I know, but. So, yeah, little storage area here, so. Got some of our tractors, will be in here. Our combine could be stored in here, as seen. Or in heck, it, we could store the pallets in here. Because this is a telescopic pallet fork, which we use to have straps. So, we can strap the pallets on. Move, sack them up, move them over, and do all sorts of things. So we get the drone out, and you can just see six greenhouses. And this is what I want to do with the farm is at some point I'll strip all of this out here, all the sheds and that, potentially. Just put some new flooring in, some new concrete flooring in. Because these do look nice. I can see you've got the old concrete here, just dirt. And that's the thing, we're restoring this farm. We've took it this basically abandoned farm, which wasn't financially viable before. And we just poured a ton of money into the farm. So, Also what we did off camera is moved Surrey, that was in here, into this pit over here. So if you have a look, see how much is in here at the moment. It says 66,000 litres, but that is a bit broken. There is more in that in there, for sure, but I'm not too fussed on that. Yep, so restore, do not enter, toxic gas, we know. But yeah, so, that's where we're at at the moment. And also, I've gone and accept a few contracts. And yes, these are size contracts that we're going to do, not now, but... No, within the next episode or two, well, between now and the next episode, or during the next episode. And he's all going to the base, base spring mark. So field 6, top left, field 129, bottom left. And field 120, just to the right of our farm here, so... A bit spread out. And, at the moment this is leased, but I do want to buy this, I want to buy this. And then also... Perhaps buy a like a load loader or something to load the pallets onto. Well, we get here a twenty foot gooseneck. Just look at some of the options, and there is a bumper pull, or we can have a gooseneck. And how much would it be for a truck in that? That can have a th fifth wheel hitch, but none of these. So we're gonna have to buy a lorry in that. So, and how much are they at the moment? You're looking at, oh, six six grand for this, but that only transports grain. Same with this one here. 
Well, Sight Body, Looter, Green Body. It's all good, but. Ooh, something like this. You know, a streamline. Or it's going to want with one of the Volvos, a glue trotter. But then again, that's 105 grand. I think really we'll have something to do like this, like a canoe loader and that. And will that even fit around the farm? That's the thing. Can we get it around some of these walls here? Because I did think about knocking this back towards us here a little bit. And just to widen the entry path here. You know, maybe get a double gate system in, so pretty much it's twice as wide almost. But I think for now, we won't. Yeah, the Ferguson system. Tempted to like knock some of these pillars back. Just to make it a bit more easier for us. Obviously we can keep the wall divided in our house and that maybe. But yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we should put some walls along here perhaps. It's got a fence in already, but maybe a, a stone wall in that. Then obviously with what we've done is got rid of some of the trees that we don't want. That's the plan is. Got rid of some of these hedges already. Have done all of them already. Because so I'm thinking like, we'll keep this one here, going straight. It going curved, we will remove because we want to get rid of the gate. Maybe get rid of these, this tree here, maybe this one as well. So on the field, just going straight across. Because then the entrance for the field could be here, and slash or here. Next to the barn shed and our water pump system. We've got our own water pump in everywhere now, so we can just pump water in. That's a few options there for us, that's why I haven't done anything too much yet. So they want to do a sorghum this month, but we're just running out of daylight. We are we're 20 past 6 now. Got a bridge so we can access this field here if we do buy this at some point. Which again, I think we will be in a good little grass area here. To replace the grass fields we're losing, because like, all this here is going to be one big mega field for grain. Because the oats, when are they ready to harvest? July at the earliest, so I think we did it in March, so July into August, so if we get a cut now on the, these new fields and then um, we can do another quick cut in July whilst we're harvesting the oats and then um, we can just see them Plant them up, seed them with grass, or we do that. Nah, we can't do it in this today now, because again, we're in our daylight, otherwise, we've done the green. But so we'll keep it as meadow grass, decent enough, as you see. Not as highly yieldish, so that's because it hasn't really got a good pH or nitrogen. It's good, but not perfect. And doesn't need plow on there, that's just the errors over here on the edges. So anyway, so we've got a bit of work to do ahead of us. Actually, wait a minute, is that all of our grass fields racing mow? I mean, I'll have a look here because I actually haven't been keeping track here of the grass actually in fairness, so Ah, no, that's just that's the oops there. So, so yeah, it's just sixty and sixty-one. Cause yeah, have a look here. Oops, oops. Have a look in sixty-seven. Cause actually, are these fields ready to move again? I don't think the top ones are. Are they? Well, I don't know. 
Ah, they're still grim, so... We've got a bit more to come yet, so tomorrow we'll cut all of our other fields. But for now, we can just cut 60 and 61. Actually, I hear a cow's moving, that reminds me. How are they doing for food and that? Okay, for food at the moment, they've all got bells and that. Our calves are doing alright. They're almost grown up. I'll show you, they are grown up. They're... These heifers are grown up. So, you know what? Actually, we can start moving some of these over. Because they're not calves anymore, aren't they? No. But how many cows t does this actually hold? So. 500, so we need to move the cows as well. Fair enough, we can see to that. So we're going to need to move them via a tr animal transport trader. So that does 12, and that's a gooseneck. That's 80 grand, so. We have to look at. Then we've got the bumper pull one here. That's only six cows. That's gonna be a lot of trips. That's gonna be over ten trips, fifteen trips almost, fifteen, sixteen trips. So turn the engine on. So I'm folding these. That's unfolded, that's unfolded. Jolt into life. And there we go. So yep, as always what we do is we'll mow it, swath it. I know the yielding will be great, so I'm not too worried on that aspect of it. Fair enough, it will never be good on these fields, so I think that's where we we'll did the mech field here. We should refocus on the rolling, especially again with our mental score. I think what we'll do next time is sort of look into that, but anyways, let's continue on with this. Get it all mowed up. Mowed up, wind road, and then build. So you have time to from
are done with all the mowing, so all the mowing, wind rowing, and baiting has been completed. And the fairness it actually takes that long, I thought it was take us a little bit longer, but nope. Also, what we've gone done is moved all these bells over here. So we move them in storage because we were hitting the 200 limit for some weird reason. But after transferring it over, it worked fine, so... Heck knows what's going on there, but anywho, not too worried. Just for now, these are going to be loaded up onto the trader. Because I'll leave them on here so they're out of the way. So tomorrow we can actually do some proper farm work. So I'll say just sack those on there. And we'll get those tidy up. So yeah, that is 45 bells we've got in total, so 3 bells will have to be put elsewhere, but apart from that, it's actually too bad. And then once we get these on, we'll get them tidied up and adjusted. There we go. So yeah, 3, 6, 9, 12. I think we'll get about 15 on there before we have to adjust. There we go. But yeah, also, I've started expanding the field already. Well, opening the field, should we freeze that? Just look, it is starting to got rid of the hedges. And really, all the hedges that's left is these, this here, the fencing. Also, we did get some money back, because those two trees over there, we got them chopped down, and some of them come and they picked up for a couple of grand. Also, you perhaps could wood chip them, and get about 20 grand, instead of, what, we got about, what, 8 grand, was it? No, we had 5 grand, so, yeah, 8 grand. Could have easily doubled our money, but rather than just come in, collect it, and take it off our hands, please don't have to lease any equipment out or anything like that, or just worry about getting everything done. But we would have to buy a stump grinder because there are stumps left, obviously. And if we get rid of even one of these trees, that's going to leave a stump. So, uh, we'll get a couple more in, and then we'll tidy it up a little bit. There we go. I think this will be the last one before we tidy it up. That actually was a bit more than I actually realised. So, we're able to leave them up a bit diagonally. So, go over here. So, there it is. 3, 6, 9, 18, 27 bells here. That's over half of what this could fill, so I'm not sure I'll say it ain't too bad at all. So I think you can try to get that on here. I'm starting to lose the light now as well as approaching 8 o'clock. There we go. So now. All we have to do is just tidy this up. There we go. Okay, two didn't tidy up. Why? Come on. Ah. There we go. That's it. So yeah, I will continue on. Get the rest of these bells on. And then I'll see you when we're done here. Should have taken us only a couple of minutes. So we we'll time lapse it. And there we go. So we have been a little bit busy since we last seen each other. Because I've had a game crash. So we've lost all of our progress up to... 
uh, what was it, doing the yard and that. Didn't place the, well we had to replace the workshop and that. Made some tweaks and that. Mine's gone up, that's because of all the trees and that. I think that's what caused the crash where I was cutting it up and that. Because whenever I crash this before, it usually involves when I'm cutting up trees, so what I ended up doing was just wood chipping them. And I think we got about 90 grand out of it. And yeah, done some tweaks and that. But anyway, so we've done the contracts, done that sort of full heck it. We're just redoing everything. So if we go to contracts, these are done. We did earn an extra, what was it? 10 grand or so, 10, 12 grand from the bells, so. Obviously that was not planning because we're gonna keep these bells, so pop in here. That's 31 bells left for us to keep, so. You know what, we'll keep those. Any more interesting silage bells, contracts? 142 is a tether one. So yeah, nothing really coming up, so. But anyway, so we'll hop in here. And we need to go right. And then back to the farm. But yeah, 31 bells. So in theory, that should help us to get to where we need to with just making sure everything... Make sure it all runs smoothly, make sure we have enough bells for the cows. That's why we've got the bell storage, so we can have stockpile of silage. So I do want to get some TMR at some point, so maybe worth doing some next cut just make it a bunch of hay bells and when we get the straw and that from the oats and that in the wind I show in the fall I show it was in the summer actually and yeah, we harvest the oats so yeah it's only a couple of months for now about two months so yeah in in summer around July August harvest can go into September so we do have a big harvest window and a lot of that does depend on obviously when we've planted everything. We planted it early enough. It also depends on things like the weather and that. If Mother Nature is good to us, we don't get any rain and that. Because if we get rain, then we might as well just call the harvest off and that. Just because we're going to use yield, lose yieldage and that. So, oh, stop beeping at me. But I'm need to have a look at these uh, bunker silos because well, not bunker silos, these um, storage, storage of the bells. <laughs> yeah, speaking of bunker silos, because we did empty that of all of the equipment. Oops, uh, minor problems. Let's get that fit. There we go. That's better. Clipping out the. F there we go. That's what I mean about mentioning, or I may have mentioned before the crash, about expanding the entrance, because we are. I think we at least got one in here. We did try two, and that was impossible, but now we are just struggling with one. What are we hitting? Oops. Yeah, it's literally getting caught cool on here, so. Try just do a quick pull. Nope, absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go. Just had enough angle in there. But yeah, something we've got to work on that with the entrance, perhaps. Or at least find another entrance or create another entrance to the farm so we can put just easier access to our equipment in. But yeah, so we have a look here. Alright, some of that grass has converted into silage automatically. 
bit odd, so when we unload these, we know these are side spells for sure. So what category does that go in as? Alright, okay, so it's correct itself now, so we do have grass. Fair enough, that makes sense, I think, but 84 and 81. Okay, I'm guessing. I think we'll just leave this for a month, but for now, that's 230 bells we got in there, so... That's why, that's why I'm glad I leave things out like this. It's not too tight or too compact. Maybe we could have got away with another row of two green houses, but then we'll be just running out of space and just being very tight. Like that leaves us just enough of a turn of circle. But who knows? We do have trees over there. That is ours. Could cut those down perhaps. Knock down the stone wall out. So yeah, again, that could be another good entrance. Ooh, wait a minute, what's this thing? What does this lead to? I haven't seen this thing before. Oh, does that lead to 119? Oh no, 120. And we have a gate here to... So we do have access here to 66, but maybe do a bit of hedgerow jumping. Let's say we'll come to the farm and we've got to come in via here. So really, this entire wall's got to come down. I'll get the shrimmer out, or a mulcher, some form of cutter, cut this out. Because then, that would be good access coming this way, because we're driving on the left, and in. But for here, we have to go... Oh, my, that car. Oof. Have to come out of here, let's into the lane, and do an awkward T-junction turn. Unless we perhaps use utilize this path in here, so that all of this here is just cut back. So yeah, these are oak trees. Get some decent wood chips out of it, I think. If I had to guess, one, two, three, four, five. About 110,000 years of wood chips, so that is 55, 60 grand in wood chips. And then knocking the wall down. I think we just get a hammer out and do it ourselves. Could just get a good old sage hammer. Pretty sound. And a rubble. We'll just pay someone to come and collect that. Downside is there is a slurry pit on side, but you know what? I think we can get away with that. But yeah, so anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it today, so next time, mowing, we've got to mow some fields. How are the cows doing? Alright, 69,000 here, sorry. Ah yeah, I forgot to transfer that back over. I think it's alright for now. Oh yeah, plenty of storage left in there, so I'm not too worried. Oh yeah, actually, f before we go, let's have a look here. So, main addition, I'll have a slice additive punt. Also, we got a fresh washer, and we've added a this. So we've got the lift master 10 ton. So this is a 10 ton lifter. But I'm pretty sure some of our equipment are a bit heavier than that. So. That's one thing we've got to be careful of, so... 6.9 tons. That's a 10 ton SEM series. That is 11.1 .1 tons. Combine, 13 tons. 
So yeah, it can fit most of our equipment on there. Just not. I'll probably get away with the six series or the new six series. But yeah, we do have this one about. Obviously, ignore that like, the price and that. But I'm thinking if we sold that, twenty grand, get about thirty-five grand. Maybe treat ourselves to a large tractor. And keeping the Deutz Fire theme, we can go with this. So that's a two ninety five, and it goes up to a three thirty six. So yeah, even if we keep it standard, wheel weights. Go with the brand new model, twenty three edition. Or 21 23. Maybe go with something like that. 18. Also, we need the Iceria Pro Compact. That is 262 grand. However, we've got also the loan to pay off. Maybe we can get money back from the harvest. I don't know. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not trying yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're not safe. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.